Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Haunt, and today I'm back with my last tier list badge informational video. Like, I did one on finishing, I did one on defense and shooting, but I never did one on playmaking. So, today we're going to be going over the best silver badges. I got a tier list. I'm going to give you dribble moves. We're just going to talk about the whole playmaking category in general, so then y'all are straight when it comes to playmaking. Make sure you do drop a like, sub, turn on post notifications. It's all very much appreciated. And let's get straight into it so the first thing we're gonna go over which is something i haven't seen many people talk about is pass styles i use lebron james because i can't get magic johnson but i've heard a lot that magic johnson is the best so those are the two that i would say if you could get either of them put one of them on if anybody has any like suggestions knows any really good pass styles just go ahead and comment them and help other people out as as well as helping me out but I know LeBron James and Magic Johnson are very, very good pass styles. Now, the second thing we're going to go over, I'm just going to give you my dribble moves because I feel like these are the two things we could get out of the way quick is dribble moves and pass styles. So here's the dribble moves that I use. I like them a lot. If you want to go watch my dribble tutorials or anything, you can see exactly what moves you could do with these dribble moves, but it's a high variety. You could do a lot of standstill and a lot of movement combos. And in the gameplay you guys are watching, you should be able to see that. It's a high variety of moves you could do with these dribble moves. Now there's three things we're gonna go over. First, we're gonna go over the best value silver badges. And then after that, we'll get into the full playmaking badges tier list. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you the actual badges that I use on my guard build. So first things first, silver badges. The badges that I feel like you get the most value out of using silver, I'm gonna pop them up on the screen. But the most important ones out of these, handles for days, Hyper Drive, Bailout, Needle Threader, and Dimer. Floor General is like an iffy badge. You can have it on really whatever you want. If you want to run it Hall of Fame, you can run it Hall of Fame. You can use it Bronze. You don't have to use it at all. I personally don't use it at all because I feel like Dimer on Silver is better than Floor General, but that's up to y'all. Handles for days on silver. The reason why I put it at silver because a lot of people don't have Gatorade. Now me, I have Gatorade and Gym Rats, so I run it on bronze and sometimes I take it off completely if I want to run more like have my ankle breaker higher, switch my badges around. Sometimes I completely take it off, but that's because I have double Gatorade. If you don't have that, then silver would probably be the sweet spot for this badge and for taller builds and other people, silver is definitely the best value for handles for days. Bailout is an extremely good badge and a must have on either bronze or silver. I run it on silver when I go into game modes like Pro-AM, Rec, because then you have to pass out a little bit farther and you have more options to pass out to, so you kind of want it to be accurate. In the park, bronze is very good and I've gotten a lot of very good bailouts with bronze, but Either way, silver would definitely be a very good place to place this badge. Same goes to Needle Threader. Needle Threader, that is a really good silver badge because when people are sitting in the lanes and you want to throw a back door, or you're throwing a full court pass, or just any passes that you throw where somebody is trying to steal it, they get a lot of head rocker animations where their head will just turn left and right. I know you guys have seen that and all them good passing lane animations come from needle threader so if you got a needle threader on them dots to the corner them dots on the rim run they're gonna be looking sweet now the last one we're gonna talk about in the silver category is hyperdrive hyperdrive is a good badge to where if you like it you could honestly put it as high as hall of fame but silver i'd say is the sweet spot for this badge me personally i don't even use hyperdrive on my 6.7 or on my 6.1 but i know a lot of people like it so if you'd like to have it on you could put it on silver or as high as you would like to let it go but i feel like silver is the personal sweet spot now we're going to go over the full tier list of every playmaking badge from hall of fame to bronze this is what i feel like are the best places to put these badges at now the first thing i do want to say is you're not going to see ankle breaker on hall of fame so you're not going to see it anywhere on this list and that's specifically because i feel like ankle breaker really depends on you and by the way everything in this video is for guards and that's it like it's for guards this isn't for locks or big men or anything like that so this is strictly just for point guards whether you're six foot six foot ten whatever you are and ankle breaker i feel like that's really personal preference i've dropped people to the ground with silver 
and I've noticed that it does work good on Hall of Fame too. Even though it's not too much of an increase of ankle breakers, it is still useful. Like you could still have it Hall of Fame and it wouldn't be a problem. So that's the only badge I couldn't really pinpoint where I would put that between bronze to Hall of Fame. I use it silver and I get a lot of really nice animations on silver. So if you want, you could put it on silver, but you could really put it as high as you'd like because I switch it from silver to Hall of Fame literally all the time. Now for the tier list itself, let's get straight into explaining why I have badges exactly where they are. For Hall of Fame, we got Quick First Step and Unpluckable. Those should both, should both be self-explanatory. There's a lockdown badges that can drop your playmaking badges at the perimeter and you'll drop to gold unpluckable even if you have Hall of Fame. So if you're somebody who has either silver or gold, it can be dropped and they can rip you very easily if you got silver unpluckable or if you got bronze unpluckable. So Hall of Fame, if you could get it Hall of Fame, that'd be very nice. Gold is still a really good value for unpluckable. I don't get ripped that much with gold. The only time I have a problem is going against those super comp blocks with that perimeter badge drop because then it drops it to silver and it's easier to rip me. And quick first step, as high as you can get it, because quick first step is really what got them 6'9 point guards moving like they're 6'1, because that badge is really overpowered this year. So these two badges, Hall of Fame for sure, if you could get them Hall of Fame, it'd be very nice. Now for the gold category, I got Clamp Breaker and Mismatch Expert. Clamp Breaker is an amazing badge. Whenever somebody's bumping you and they're like basically pushing you, it helps you slide off of them and just get around them. You don't need any type of stats or any type of nothing to make that happen more. It's just Clamp Breaker. Clamp Breaker helps a lot in that situation. So that badge, definitely gold. I haven't really seen many people with the Hall of Fame. And I personally don't feel like you should put it Hall of Fame. But it's a very good badge for either silver or gold tier. But I got it in the gold because that's what I use it on. And I feel like it's a very good gold badge. Now the next thing is Mismatch Expert Gold. This badge is mandatory for 6'2 and under builds. Because if you're 6'2 and under, if you add the five inches from this badge expert, that's six seven and up. Most people who have 99 steel are gonna be six six, six seven, because you can't get 99 steel at anything above six seven. So, with that being said, small guards, mismatch experts, mandatory, it helps boost space creator, ankle breaker, and clamp breaker against them taller builds that are five inches plus and the height starts at six six so if you got a six foot add the five inches six five it will not activate just so y'all know the activation now we already went through everything in the silver category so i'm not going to talk about anything in the silver category because i already explained why all that's there so those badges i feel like are really good badges if you want to stack if you want to just have them on those are good places to have them like bailout you could either have that bronze and then needle thread or silver, or you could just run them both silver if you have the badge points. Dimer, if you wanted to put it on, the best place to have it on is silver. Handles for days, already told y'all about that earlier, all this stuff we talked about. So silver, I feel like is the best place to put these badges. Now for bronze, some of these badges like post playmaker, stuff like that, I don't use. I don't use post play, I don't use post playmaker or killer combos. It has been proved that killer combos does not increase the stun rate of an opponent. So they're not getting stunned more if you throw that badge on. And for the people that says it speeds up your combos or it makes you combo longer. I could dribble the whole 24 seconds, do all the comp moves that you're seeing in this video without having killer combos on at all. So if I could do it all without having it on, I don't see the point of having it on. Now, Vice Grip, that's a very good badge. Depends on your build and how you play, but Vice Grip and Special Delivery, they're solid badges, but these are all, at the end of the day, badges that you'd want to have on bronze at most if you were to put them on. Now, the last thing we're going to get into, these are the personal badges that I use on my 6-1 guard. My 6-7 is not maxed out on badges, so I can't give you badges for that, but just to let y'all know, these badges are like... Clamp Breaker, Unpluckable, Quick First Step, Bailout. Those four badges are probably the most important badges that you would want to have no matter what your height is. The rest you can figure out for yourself and you could adjust due to your play style. 
I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Just wanted to let y'all know what I think of the badges, what badges I feel like are really good, what badges aren't the best. Wanted to give y'all my badges, my dribble moves. On top of that, wanted to talk about pass styles and a little bit more. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Until the next vid, your boy Han is out. I love y'all.